Texas today, the U.S. House of Representatives passed historic legislation making lynching a federal crime. The bill is called the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act. It passed to the House with a 410 to 4 vote. Emmett Till, he was the 14-year-old whose brutal, inhumane murder in Mississippi became a civil rights rallying cry back in the 50s. Local 5's Robin O'Guinye found out why it took more than 100 years to pass this legislation. In middle school, um, I wrote a paper on the Emmett Till story. It really touched me to the core when I saw the pictures. It was powerful then for me. That is like one of the most memorable incidents in history for African Americans. Emmett Till, accused of whistling at a white woman in 1955, was taken from his home, beat to death, shot in the head and thrown into the Tallahatchie River, his face unrecognizable to his family. The men responsible walked free. It was one of the most heinous, you know, hate crimes that could have taken place. I mean, he was 14 years old. And Professor of African American Studies at UW Oshkosh, Alfonso Simpson, says more than 4,000 African Americans were lynched during Jim Crow segregation. It was a common practice, usually done for sport. It involved flogging, it involved burning, it involved so many things, um, cutting off of the limbs and detachment of the digits. And it tore families apart. It tore communities apart. Anti-lynching legislation was first brought to the legislature about 120 years ago, but failed to pass multiple times until now. Lynching, as well as slavery and so many other things, are a blemish on the face of, of the country. And we've so, for so long swept these things underneath the rug. It's time to call these things out, and it's time to say, okay, now, let's deal with it now. You didn't want to deal with it 120 years ago. You didn't want to deal with it 100 years ago. You didn't want to deal with it 20 years ago. We're dealing with it now. Some say this legislation is just the start of change. I see this as one of those steps that we're taking in the right direction. Um, I also see it as everyone doing the work to raise awareness around these issues and people just demanding and, you know, standing firm on wanting to see change. In the Fox Cities, Robin Oguinye, Local 5 News. Thank you, Robin. Now, anti-lynching legislation has already passed unanimously in the Senate. The Senate bill called the Justice for Victims of Lynching Act makes lynching a federal crime by establishing it as a new criminal civil rights violation. Since the House bill has different titles, different numbers, more action will need to take place before the legislation can go to the president's desk for signature.